Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, where today we're heading to the Pacific for another game, Chain of Command. Alright, so it's been a little bit since we've uh, played a Pacific game, but uh, I've been watching the series again lately, and it's made me want to break out all my Pacific stuff, so here we are. Uh, we're going to play the Chain of Command, like I said, and we'll see how it goes. We've done beach assaults before, it's kind of hit or miss, they're hard to balance. Last one we did uh, was a patron-only video, it worked out pretty well, and we're going to use the same uh, kind of mission and... Uh, special rules that we use for that one and hopefully this one turns out just as well as that but if it doesn't I apologize it could be a total dud it's really hard to tell with these beach assault missions so all I can say is I hope it's a good game and uh, if not then um, then it is what it is before we dive into the mission and the forces for tonight's game we'll talk about the terrain as usual so the mat we're using tonight is the Normandy mat by Geek Villain uh, Normandy, but we're using it in the Pacific. We've used it for Napoleonics. We've used it for Warlords of Erewhon, so a very versatile mat. Uh, if you would like to get one for yourself, check the uh, video description. So other than that, uh, the special rules that we're going to use for terrain on this are going to be um, the cliffs. So I don't know if it might be kind of hard to see, but we have a very high cliff here that Andre made. This is a foam that Andre's designed and cut to fit perfectly under this mat. So it gives us a nice beach um, sloping rise up to the top of the cliff where the fighting is supposed to happen. So um, so the cliff, basically you can't see, if you're more than six inches from the grass or from the edge of the cliff, then you can't see the sand. You can see the water, but you can't see the sand. Other than that, uh, if you're in the water, it's going to be slow going, which is going to be 2d6 minus the uh, highest or the lowest die. So it slows you down a little bit, not as much as if it was deep water. So this is maybe, I don't know, knee deep water. And if, if the marine deployment points are on the edge, they're going to have to walk across some water. Other than that, uh, we have some rocks. These are just going to block line of sight. We have a lot of jungle involved. This is going to be uh, heavy going. It's going to be soft cover, four inch visibility. And we also have a couple of huts. These are just going to be soft cover as well. So that's pretty much it for the uh, terrain. Let's go ahead and look at the forces for tonight's game. We'll begin with the marine force. Um, this is going to be, both of this and the Japanese force are taken from the excellent Saipan 1944 campaign that Steven wrote for us. And we're playing late war Pacific, so I don't really have a list for those, but they are, there are a really good list in the Saipan campaign. So if you want to look for some late war Pacific list, that's a great place to look. So this is the Series F Marine Platoon. It is rated uh, force rating of plus two, five command dice. And uh, we're going to have all patron leaders, even squad leaders tonight. And the uh, lieutenant is going to be our newest old guard, or I'm sorry, our newest operator patron is Ryan Horton. And that's him right there. He is going to be armed with a carbine. And assisting him is going to be the platoon sergeant. Uh, that's going to be Gunny Nick Shantz. He is also armed with a carbine. And then these squads are a bit different than you're used to seeing in Chain of Command. There are three squads, and each, are, each is going to consist of three fire teams. So each fire team is going to be three riflemen and one BAR gunner. So that would be a fire team right there. And there's three of them. And they are commanded by a sergeant with a, a carbine, which is essentially the same as a uh, Garand. So they're going to be re-rolling ones, assuming the Marine player can remember that. So we have uh, three squads, one, two, three fire teams, one, two, three fire teams, one, two, three fire teams, and then the command element. And then there's options for these guys to replace uh, some guys for flamethrowers, uh, bazooka teams, stuff like that, depending on what the Marine player wants to do. So we got our two senior leaders, and then the, uh, the other patron leaders are going to be, let's see here, Tan. So this is going to be uh, Corporal James Shevlin, or Sergeant James Shevlin, I should say. He's going to be leading that, that squad. And then we're going to have Sergeant Tyson McInnes is going to be leading that squad. And then finally, we're going to have Sergeant Cody Neal leading the last squad. And we're also going to be giving the Marines some free units. So it's going to be difficult for the Marines to get off the beach and get up the hill. It's all wide open terrain. There's no cover on the beach, no cover in the water. So to try to compensate for the three to one advantage that the attacker should have, we're going to give the Marines a couple of free units. And those are going to be two LVTs. So the first one is an LVT. A4. This is an LVT with a 75 millimeter howitzer on it, and it is worth four support points. It's armor two, um, AP3, HE5, and we also have one LVT4, 
and this is five support points, so nine total support points on top of what the normal support points they're going to get when we roll for it for the mission. And that is going to be uh, c carrying capacity, I think, of like 30 guys or something. It's a lot. I'll have to double check that, but uh, it can hold a lot of guys. It's got two HMGs on it, and it's got a whole, whole uh, mounted MMG. And it's got two crew, a driver, and then one guy to man the whole mounted MMG. And if you want to fire the two HMGs on top, then you're going to have to man them with men from the, uh, the platoon. So that is the Marine Force. Over here we have the defending Japanese platoon. This is the Japanese Type B infantry platoon. It's got a force rating of plus one. So it's got uh, one difference. Marines are plus two. These guys are plus one. And it's going to have five command dice as well. And this is going to be led by uh, the lieutenant with sword and pistol. That is going to be Lieutenant Tanaka. And there's a second senior leader as well. This is the platoon sergeant, the Gunso. And he is uh, Sergeant Wasabi. And he is armed with a rifle. There are three line squads. Each line squad is a corporal with rifle, nine riflemen, and then an LMG with three crew, not broken into teams. These are just big one team squads. And then we also have one uh, grenadier section. So there's going to be three 50, uh, 50 millimeter light mortars and a corporal with a rifle. And it's supposed to be um, four crew for each 50 millimeter light mortar, but I don't have enough guys, so that's what we're going to have. And they can fire as light mortars, which we'll see in the game, or they can fire as rifles. So it's essentially another rifle squad that can fire HE uh, should they decide to do so. And that is the Japanese platoon. So a little out of order here, but the mission we're going to play tonight is attack and objective. I'm sorry, it's attack and defend, not attack and objective. So attack and defend means the objective is for both sides to drive the other side off of the board while keeping your own force morale at three. So the Japanese are trying to drive the Marines back into the sea and the Marines are trying to clear the, the cliffs on top of the beach. Uh, the defenders will place four jump off points or four patrol markers on their edge. The Marines, I think, will place three or four. I'll have to double check that on their edge. They're going to get D6 free moves. Both sides are going to place three uh, jump off points and they're going to roll for 2D6 for force support and we're going to apply any uh, force rating difference and then we're going to start the game. So a very simple mission. Uh, just drive the enemy off the table while keeping our own force morale at three, not much to it. So uh, that should do it for the briefing for the forces, and we're ready to start the game. All right, Andre's arrived. He's going to be the Marines. I'm going to be the Japanese defenders. And the reason I'm being the defenders is I've been the attackers in every, the, like the past two or three campaigns <laughs> we played. And I steamrolled Andre in uh, uh, France, 1940. I was steamrolling Robert in uh, 1941 Russia as, a Rus as the... Uh, Attacker, so I'm going to be defender this time just to see if I can do any better. So, Maybe it's... so you can steamroll somebody from the other side. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ambidextrous. Uh, oh, uh, force morale, Andre. And we both get plus two to our force morale rule. Okay. The Marines have a rule called Semper Fi, and I have one, another one called For the Emperor. I got a six. Okay, so you're an 11, I got a three plus two, so I'm a 10. So Andre's at an 11 on his force morale, I'm at a 10. Uh, for support, I rolled 2d6, I rolled an 8, so Andre is going to get 8 support points, plus the 9 that he's going to have for the two free LVTs. I'm going to get half of that at 4, plus 1 for the force rating difference, so I'm going to have 5. So what we'll do now is we will do the patrol phase, and then we'll do our plans, and we'll begin the game. Patrol phase is now complete, and I'll go over mine first. So I got one in the jungle here. I have another one in this patch of jungle here, and my last one's over here in this patch of jungle. And Andre was able to get up the beach and get two of his already onto the cliff. So he's got one behind that rock there. He's got one behind this house, and his last one is out there in the, on the uh, water. So his LVTs are going to have to come in from the water. He's not going to be able to deploy them up here but he can deploy any of his infantry up here. And that will do it for the patrol phase. So what we'll do now is we will do our plans. All right, welcome. 
American plan. So got a ton of firepower here. The trick is going to be to bring it on quickly and uh, focus the fire and uh, you know just try and uh, create casualties. I got the red die which is going to be a big deal I think um, just because I've got so much stuff to uh, command. Um, I've got all those junior officers with the extra uh, commands and just a lot of uh, you know, laying down a lot of fire. Um, what I'm thinking is I've got to come in with my amphibious assault off of uh, here. I think I'm going to beeline up, get onto the beach, and get up uh, close enough here that uh, I can uh, get out of sight um, of uh, Travis's AT gun wherever he manages to put that. I'm assuming that's what he did with his four points. You'll find out shortly. But if I can get up onto here, I can run across and fairly unimpeded. I got a ton of firepower, but I can actually do probably a bit of a flanking maneuver along the uh, beach cliff. Um, and that'll be uh, with one squad in here. Um, once I get uh, you know to where I want to pop up, actually thinking about that though, because uh, Travis will probably have some uh, anti-tank uh, well probably or maybe maybe he just does dudes with satchel charges which they could be really effective um, if I get up there too close um, I'm gonna have to kinda play that by ear but yeah that's uh, kinda the idea there my uh, other uh, amphibious I'm going to bring up and I just need to get uh, where I've got good line of sight with it, which um, not uh, really that looks like the other side of the hut over there. Um, depending on you know if Travis actually does deploy in this group of woods here, I could work on blasting him out of there. But uh, really it's going to be you know getting on the board, laying down uh, a base of fire. Um, and uh, starting to move up and don't know that I'll I might break off some scout teams and uh, depending on how uh, if he's waiting on me or or not um, you know I might need to do scout teams to to force his hand but uh, honestly I think this is going to go pretty fast and furious uh, I'm probably going to get out there quick and I think he's probably going to come up and just try and uh, lay into me pretty early on so really my strategy is uh, more fire firing more shots than he does um, at a smaller group of uh, targets and that usually works well especially uh, for Marines with this much firepower um, yeah just kind of um, don't know what the uh, opportunity uh, targets are here, but I'm starting to ramble, so that definitely means it's time for me to shut up. We'll uh, catch you in a bit. All right, so the Japanese plan. So Andre forgot to go over his support. Uh, he did, uh, for one point, you can replace two uh, Garands and one of the squads with SMGs. He did that twice, so you have to give him the squad leaders first. He did, so all the squad leaders have uh, SMGs now, and then one other guy in one of the squads. He also brought a 50 cal, which is going to be an army 50 cal proxy. I don't have a marine 50 cal. And then uh, he brought the red dice, which he mentioned. As far as the Japanese, I brought a 4.7 centimeter AT gun to deal with the uh, um, Amtraks. And then I brought an entrenchment for it. So for me, um, I do have one here. So I could deploy the gun out here to cover the beach and fire at the um, LVTs when they come in and I can put a squad with it it won't be in hardcover but the gun will and guns are always vulnerable they only have five guys so even picking on a picking on a gun uh, in the squad even with splitting a bunch of uh, hits with squads around it the gun can still break so it being in hardcover is important and then other than that um, I'm gonna probably load up these woods here I'm going to try to deploy early. I know he doesn't have a pre-game barrage, so I'm going to try to get in position before him, and hopefully I can outshoot him if he deploys over here. 
because he can deploy into this house, but there's only one window. So if I can get in here, I can have fire superiority on him uh, over here. And if I can get two squads in here, even better. So I'll try to get two squads in here to deal with this. And I'll put the gun and the squad together probably over here. And that squad could always move up and get into this, this jungle here if I need it to. But mainly, um, I know he's going to be coming heavy this direction. So if I get a couple squads in here early, uh, maybe I can handle that. So uh, that's my plan. Yeah, just deal with the uh, LVTs with the gun and the squad in support. And then deal with anything that comes this way uh, with this patch of jungle here. And that's it. Yep, here we go. Andre's going to start. And a three on the red die. Okay, and he's got a, a two for the chain of command dice and a burnt six. A three, a four, and a three to work with. Andre with the two threes, he's brought two LVTs in. He's got red squad in there. So a full squad is in the uh, one on the right, and they're on overwatch. And then he's brought Lieutenant Horton in back here by himself. On overwatch. Off, off of this choke point. And he's on overwatch with his uh, carbine. <laughs> and that's it for Andre. Japanese phase. Lots hey, look at that. Three fives. You beat my fives. And a three. And a four. So I said in my plan I was going to bring stuff in early, but not one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> if I got a two and a three, yeah, I'll think about it. Brought in a squad here off of this jump off point. Um, they went on Overwatch, and Sergeant Wasabi has come in with them. And that's it. So Andre's face. Okay, go ahead, Andre. So he's got two more fives. A four, two twos, and a three on the red die. Woo! I was able to get a squad in here. Uh, he moved that LVT up, so that's coming up the beach with a three. And then with his first two, he's going to come up here. Um, so you have a four, Andre? I yeah. think these guys have a thing sort of like machine gevere. I forget oh. what it's called. But you can add, so you can use that four to add three shots, I believe. Why I'll not? double check it, but... His plan is to fire them. So he's got two BARs here, one BAR here, and three guys on the porch with the rifles. And re-rolling ones, don't forget. Uh, he's going to fire at my squad here. But let me check that machine gevair thing real quick. I can't find it. I thought I saw it, but I don't see it now. So 12 shots uh, with an 18, maybe. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so with an 18, so needing fours. And that'll give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then re-roll those ones. That'll oh, this the, is that game. This will be the last time I remind you of that, by the way. Well, I would have never done it all <laughs> game uh, had it not been mentioned. Two more? Holy shit. One, it's two. Only nine. Nine hits. Oh, my God. Okay. Soft Actually, cover. no. It's, there's three, six. Yeah, it's only nine. So soft cover. Ooh. Well so that's done. two, three shock and a dead. Check my leader, not the leader. So it's gonna be three shock Andre and then one dead dude. And then I will re return fire. The Japanese will return fire at minus two dice, one for the dead, one for the shock. Ooh. Not nearly as good as Andre's. One, sixes. two, three, four, five, six hits on you. This is all from my uh, Overwatch. Okay, and... Oh, technically we're supposed to split those up, but I'll keep the roll. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? Just split them up. You got three fire teams in there, so you need to split them up three ways. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'll let you do that. So we got a dead, two dead, and uh, three shock. So, a, a, so two fire. Oh. So roll, roll for your leader. Uh. <laughs> not the leader. So two dead and three shock. Andre's deployed another squad there with a two off of that jump off point behind the rock. And he's going to pour it into this squad as well. This will be a full squad of shooting 19 shots. Even fives. Not fours? Oh, uh, we're over 18. Yeah. Damn, there's shit. <laughs> five <laughs> fours. I got as many fours as I did hits. So five hits. Nice. Ugh. Soft I jumped cover. out in the open for that. That's right. That sucks. Five hits, though. You might kill something. Okay. Or uh, I might not do anything. Point of shock. 
All right, just to put so they're up to four shock now, these guys, and I think you're done, right? You got a four left? Uh, yeah, I got a... I wouldn't bring your senior leader in. Then you yeah. have to roll for everything to come in after that. Everything? <laughs> well, <laughs> the you're their thing. squad and your 50 cal. They're already in. Oh, that's right, they're in there. So your 50 cal would have to roll to come yeah. or something. Um, honestly, I don't know that I want him with a squad hanging out in the open right now. Okay. All right, so it sounds like it's the... Japanese phase. A Japanese phase. Hey, two, three more fives. Wow. Woohoo. Hey, I'm up to a chain of command dice though. You are. And a two and a one. Jeez. But the two, I, or with the one, I brought in my AT gun. So I have line of sight on all that stuff down there. And then with the two, I brought in a squad here just to help spread the hits out a little bit. So I'm going to fire the gun at that front LVT there, uh, the LVT4 with the 250 cals. And I brought it on a one, so I can't uh, focus fire with the junior leader. So I'm going to need a five. So it's a hit. And we'll figure out with an AT and armor. This uh, 4.7 centimeter uh, AT gun's got an AP of six. And that's got an armor of three. So I need fives. Ah, uh, only two. So I got two. So you got three defense there, Andre. Three defense, huh? Yep. Needing two fives. Oh, you got, got it. Got it. But it's one net hit, so roll a d6, or, or no, equal hits, I'm sorry. So three, check the chart over there. I think it's the middle, bottom, I believe. We'll figure it out. So reverse one d6 immediately. So he's just going to fall back three inches. So he's taking some fire from the AT gun, and he's having second thoughts. Do I thoughts. get my overwatch? Yep. Yeah. So this thing's on Overwatch. Yeah. So I'm on the clip. So yeah, you can fire the uh, okay. cannon. So it's uh, that's going to be HE five. So five uh, five dice back at you. Yep. Needing fours. Yeah. Two. two. All right. I'll put one on the gun. And then uh, actually, you can concentrate on the squad, or I can just split them. Uh, I'll concentrate on the gun. Well, you can't concentrate on the gun because it's in better. You have to concentrate on the one in worst cover. So what's in worst cover? Oh, the squad. The squad. Or I could just split them one uh, each. Actually doing... Yeah, just go ahead and split them. One each. Okay, gun. And squad. So a point of shock on the squad. And that's it for me. Jet, or Marine phase. That is not one, one, two, two, four with hey, the look, red dice. Hey, look, two threes. Yep. First three, Andre is going to bring LVT four up, and he's got two fifty cals and a coax on the front, and he's going to fire everything at there. So we got a six inch move. So uh, needing uh, fives. And with eighteen total shots. So I could concentrate on the guys in the jungle. You could, but. I don't think I will. I think I'll go ahead and hit the gun. Split them. Okay. Needing fives. Well, my uh, my rolling couldn't get a whole lot suckier. How much did you get? Three hits. Three? All on the uh, HMGs. No hits on the light gun. No hits? Okay. So three hits, so it'll be no reduction in cover. Uh, no, that HMG. Oh, HMG. So it will reduce cover. So it'll yeah. be in the open on the squad. That's two dead. Okay. And then the gun will be in soft cover. Nothing. Nothing. So check the leader on the squad. No. Just two dead guys in the squad. Okay. This thing has moved up five inches and it's going to fire a shell. I should be splitting these though, shouldn't I? Oh, I split the hits after you see how many hits you get. Uh, so, yeah. Well then, shouldn't I shoot at the guys in soft cover and split them to the hard cover? It's fives either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> hey, a hit! One hit, alright then. Uh, so you want it on the gun? Or sure. The, uh, the gun. And point of shock, because it reduces cover by one. Which is good, because that's yep. going to make it one harder to hit. Yep. Alright, you got anything else? Uh, yeah. I you got, got a bunch two, of shit. three, or, oh. Those were my two threes. You got a four. You can have a four. I can activate everything over here. Yep. Andre, uh, with what he had left, he had uh, Lieutenant Horton here has ordered the squad up, and then he's pulled two shock. In Japanese face. 
Come on. Hirohito. Double, double phase. phase. And another uh, another chain of command. And a three and a one. Yeah. Oh, my Not God. for a double phase. So I just had uh, Sergeant Wasabi over there. I made a, with three and a one, I made a four. And Wasabi just pulled three shock. Figured this is my chance to pull a bunch of shock at once. So double phase. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a full double phase again. Okay. And then drop one. And then if we get another one, that's it. All right, one, two, two, three, which is pretty good. So I pulled the shock, and then I'm gonna fire at the LVT4 with the gun. I pulled the shock off this squad, they went tactical, and then I'm not gonna do anything with the last two. I was gonna bring my knee mortar squad in, but I don't really see any point in it. So I'll just fire the gun. So I'm gonna fire the gun at the uh, half track. Five, that's a hit. <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to be getting six AP against your three again. Come on. Oh, I see three of them. What's that? That's a oh, four hits. Four hits against three. So it's going to definitely be like at I least just one. Got destroyed. Uh, it's three plus. Three so, net hits. How, yeah, three net hits is dead. Okay. So that thing is toast. My AT gun is taking that out. I got four, he only got one. So we'll figure out what happens. This thing is destroyed. Uh, we had another D6 troll, he rolled a three. So it's gonna be D6 hits on the passengers. He rolled four, as if in the open. So four hits in the open, <laughs> just a shock. So they're gonna have to get out. This thing's destroyed and they're gonna take only one shock. There is uh, disembark there. I can't see, I have to be within six of the grass. The only one within six of the grass is the uh, the gun or the edge. So not, none of my squads can fire at this. That was a three and that was all I was gonna do. So it's uh, marine phase. Oh crap, double phase and a one, one, two, two. That's not good. All right, so Andre's, uh, he just moved, he moved them out brought the 50 cal in over there in those woods and then these guys pulled the shock and they've started moving up the cliff but they're having a little bit of a hard time uh, no double phase no double phase so two fours and a three andre has just done a general advance essentially everyone's moved up uh his other senior leaders in here uh nick chance um who do we got here so let me pick out who these guys are so this is mckinnis's squad that's Shevlin's squad, and then over there is Neil's squad. And he's also moved his LVT A4 up uh, full speed. So we'll be minus one to hit him. And I think that's it, so Japanese phase. Uh, that's not bad. It's a lot one, of one, three, four, four, and I do have two senior leaders. Yep. The one four I had Wasabi pull uh, shock and put these guys on overwatch just in case any Marines stumble into this jungle here and with the two ones I brought my knee mortar squad in here and then with the three I'm going to have the 4.7 centimeter fire at his remaining LVT uh, move flat out so I need a six but he's going to use his both commands to do a focus fire and we are going to need a five a seven <laughs> yeah all right six against two this time Andre it's only armor two on that thing. See if this gunner can earn whatever the name of the Japanese metal is. Yep. Uh, he's got two. You got it. So two net hits. I can't destroy it. So roll. I'll roll a d6. A five. Two net hits on a on a. Half track carrier. No, it's the other uh, far left chart. That one there. On yeah. The tanks, ACs, SPGs. I guess. Yeah. Two net hits. A five, I think I rolled. Sorry. Two net hits, you rolled a five? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a five. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. Uh, two shock hull machine gun KO. Okay. This thing's taking two shock. It doesn't have a hull machine gun, so it has a coax, so it just took two shock. And then my knee mortar squad is. So if I fire the knee mortars and you move, then I'm going to lose. Yeah. 
then they very well might move. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they will. Especially if the knee mortars start coming down on top of them. So I'm going to just fire rifles uh, with the knee mortars. Uh, shit. Well, if you use the mortar rounds, then you're going to have to resupply sooner. You so. know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to do something different. No, okay. So the knee mortar, I'm going to fire the knee mortars as rifles, so only five of the guys can really shoot. If I fire the knee mortars at them, yeah, we'll just fire the rifles. Uh, one hit. Watch me kill the leader. Uh, nothing. A two. It was a two, not a six. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to bring Tanaka in. I was going to, but I changed right. my mind. So, Marines are going to have to get up here and dig me out. Double, Double phase. phase. No. Chain of command dice. Oh my god, a three. And a two, three, three. Oh man. Yeah. With the, one of the threes, he pulled the shock. He moved this thing up the beach. It's up there on top of the cliff. This squad moved up as well, and then, uh, who is that, uh, Shevlin squad there moved up. So McKinnis and Shevlin moved up, and so did this LVT here. And next phase, okay. hey, maybe if you have the red dice, we should drop two. No. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. No, you don't have to drop one yet. Okay. Next phase. I guess I'll get rid of the whole point of the red dice, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> it does get annoying, doesn't Jeez, it? Look at them all. Especially when I'm rolling that well with two, it. Two, two, three, three, four. That's everything. Yep. So Andre essentially just the entire platoon has moved up and they are heading towards the Japanese. So it would be very interesting to see what Andre does here, how he's going to approach this getting into those uh, <laughs> jungle and in an orderly fashion. <laughs> but we'll find out. So uh, Japanese phase. Beach. A beach is a beach. One, one, two, three, four. Wow. All right, so I brought Tanaka and the last squad in here. This squad moved over 1d6, uh, so they're only going to fire at half effect, so that'll only be five shots, Andre. It would have been 11, but we're down to five. And then I'm going to have the knee mortars are going to fire at these guys. So do our five shots. Uh, I think that might be two hits. Is that within 18? Looks like it. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so two hits onto your squad there. Tactical, so you'll be in soft cover. Ooh. One dead. Could it be? Nope. No. This one dead. And then my knee mortar, so I got three of them. They'll fire two HE each, but half of that on the first shot. So only three. But I don't have direct line of sight, so I need fives. Not so much. Not a damn thing. It added up to five. It added up to five. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything left. So everything's on the board for me. Everything's on the board for Andre. So it's the Marine phase. So what do we got here? One. We wow, got look a at lot. All that. <laughs> one, one, four, four, five, two. So Andre's just, everything is advanced. He's. Except in, the guys that went on Overwatch. Who's on Overwatch? Oh, those guys that were on Tactical earlier? Okay, so they went on Overwatch. Everyone else has moved up the LVT. I have no answer for that, so I really don't know. You have no answer for it over here. What the hell I'm gonna do? Yeah. Your answer's over there. Unless I pull way back. So, okay, so Japanese face. Honestly, don't know what you're gonna do. All right, another chain of command point. Two fours and a two. It's a good thing I brought Tanaka out. I was gonna say that does, um, uh, does everything. Yep. You know, it is this squad's gonna fire at these guys on Overwatch. Uh, need force. Damn. Whoa! Ten hits. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, so that's how you're gonna play it, huh? Travis? That's how we're gonna soften you up. I said I wanted to soften you up. Depends on how you roll, though. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get at least a couple of kills here. I hope. Okay, so uh, so three on one squad. Two shock. Three on another squad. That's one shock, see, you're rolling really good. And three on another, there's a kill and a shock. Okay, so check your leader. That's way over there now. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled down the beach. He's down the beach. <laughs> so he got a dead and a shock, a shock, and then two shock. It's not enough. Not Four enough. shock. Are you going to fire your overwatch? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn it. Okay, then. If you'd have come out, I would have fired it, but... Uh... Fine. I will fire my knee mortars, then. So, knee mortars firing. I think I can see you directly now. 
So I'm needing fours. One, two, only two hits with the knee mortars. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Man, that was not good enough. Okay, and so that was a one round uh, knee mortar ammo. So that was a, so that would have, oh, wait a minute. Shit. Uh, okay, I would have had to move Tanaka over a little bit to do that. Okay. So we'll move him over there. Uh, then Tanaka will have the gun, can't do anything. All right. I think these guys are going to do a bonsai charge just for mm -hmm. the hell of it. I don't know what else I'm going to do. But I think wasabi might not go with them. <laughs> I don't want the bad things. For, too many bad things to happen. Everyone else. Go. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> bonsai charge. Not against the bonsai charge. It's just, I would have to move. I could probably get there on 2D6 maybe. But they're going to take a bunch of overwatch. It's all way to turn. Uh, but I did bring this squad up. They ran up here. So I got all three of my... Squads here, my knee mortars over there, and they're on Overwatch still, and no shock. And that'll do it. So I'm waiting for the Marines. Come on in, Andre. Here we come. Oh, oh in the turn, double phase, yeah. a one and a four. Nice. Interesting. First thing Andre did, he moved the 50 cal in. And Oh, wait, if you get within four, we're going to be in fisticuffs range. You can't, if you do that, we're going to be in fisticuffs. Remember? No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that will be in fisticuffs. Do you want to do that still? No. Okay. Uh, we just moved everything up. Um, and end of turn, so all the Uraches go away. And next phase, Andre said he's coming in. Let's see if he does. You don't believe me? No. I was going to say, Three how fives? crappy of a roll would I need to not come in? And that was <laughs> that damn near it. it. <laughs> So he's almost a two chain of command dice. I'm only at two and a one, one and a four. So the first thing, Andre, that squad there, who is that? Whose squad is that? White. Uh, that's Shevlin's squad. Uh, white squad, so uh, that's James Shevlin. And his squad is going to move into the jungle. And we're going to be in fisticuffs because we're going to be within four inches of each other. So what we'll do is we'll count up uh, the dice and see what each of us have. Shevlin's squad is charging this squad. He's going to have 17. I'm going to have 23 dice. Needing fives and sixes. Rerolling ones. <laughs> uh, one, two. That's a problem. Four total? Uh, five. Four, five total. I think. Okay, and then some of them are sixes, so those will be shock. Actually, four of them are sixes. Four sixes and, and a five. five. Okay. Now the Japanese will respond. I have more dice because I have a machine gun in here, and he moved towards me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. five. <laughs> it's a tie. Wow, we tied. Yeah, but you took more shot. Jeez, that was a shit roll. Look at all those. Yep. Okay, we'll fight again. So, but first we need to do some checking. So let's check our leaders my leaders for sure and it's your leader so let me see which one of my leaders it is it's the big man wasabi he's knocked out so wasabi is knocked out so bad thing for that oh, uh, that's gotta be minus good. two so i'm down to eight all right check your leader see what happens to him he's killed so shevlin's dead your junior leader here is dead so bad thing happens for that Probably minus one. So we're both down seven dice with all the shock and the leaders and everything. So we fight again because we tied. Oh, one. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least it's a six. This could end the whole thing. Bonsai! Oh, damn. One, two, three, four. So five dead and four shock. Yeah, they're toast. They're, they're annihilated. So let's check our leaders. Not my leader. You need a leader. six. Oh, your leader's dead. Okay. So you're going to lose uh, five dudes. I'm going to lose one. I got one guy left. One guy left. All right. So Andre's broke. Uh, his He was down to one guy. 
he broke and plus he took more shock from losing and so he's just broke so a four is probably a minus one let me check squad has won the fight uh wasabi's knocked out sadly but the uh, shoveling squad is dead or so do you get to reconsolidate after that or no. anything or no i just stay okay. right there all right so uh, next squad coming in with the next squad <laughs> come on four oh, inches that'll that probably do it. it all right we'll count them up again so the next squad has come in this is McKinnis's squad and Horton's with them. So they're going to get 24 dice aggressive and everything. And I'm going to get 14. Whiff. No, that's not a whiff. That might be my whole squad. Holy crap. That's a lot of dice hits. Yeah, so Andre got five fives and four sixes. That was a hell of a roll by uh, McKinnis and the boys and Horton. Uh, but I do get to swing back. Come on, do some damage. Ooh. Damn. That's bad. <laughs> Hey, they just got Talk beat up about earlier. A whiff. They just got their ass kicked earlier. Okay, well, I'm, I'm definitely dead. So everyone's leader, or my leader's definitely hit. Uh, both so, of my leaders. So let me check my leader. So uh, Wasabi, he's knocked or unconscious again. He'll get captured. And then uh, the junior leader, he's knocked out as well. So both of them are going to get captured. Okay, and not mine. Not yours. Yeah, so captured leaders, we, we usually count those so as I routes. So lost, I lost two guys, right? Yeah. So we'll say routes, which is the worst thing that can possibly happen if you get captured. So uh, leader, senior leader, routes. Oh, that's always good. Junior leader, routes, a three. I think that's another three. That might be four. So, yeah. Hey, but dropped, you lost uh, all your pin. Your, uh, your shock went away. I lost my four shock. Yeah. I dropped six force morale on that. Okay. Counting those two leaders as captured, um, dropped me five, and then the squad wiped out, dropped me okay. Moving another up one. To which the is crazy. Uh, jump off point. Okay. Yeah, I got no way to stop this. And these guys will go ahead and uh, um, they'll come on through they're going up there too all right yeah i'll make it all right i'm going to just concede i drop six force morale down to two i'm going to lose a jump off point he's going to capture that one he could end the turn now and drop me another two at least one and i have no way to i can't avoid a force morale check because i don't have a chain of command dice so him him ending the turn and capturing that one at least drop me one possibly two let me just see what i would have yeah, it'd be minus two. I would be at zero. So you talked about you know maybe uh, potentially charging my machine gun, but I've got a chain of command die to interrupt and uh, hose you on the way in. You'd take ten shots on the way <laughs> in at point blank. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll wrap it up. All right. Well, the wrap up here. Um, it was ugly. I thought I was doing pretty well. You uh, were. I was doing good. <laughs> that first wave that came in. When Shevlin came in, I defeated his squad, you but, the ne but then McInnes and Horton came in, and that roll you had just... Oh, that was a nuts roll. I mean, you wiped out... I had a pretty... I still had quite a few guys in that squad, and they were just all wiped out. My leaders were both knocked out, and they both got captured. We count that as a leader routes, which is the worst possible thing that can happen, and I rolled a minus three on the on the senior on, on yeah. the wasabi <laughs> so that was i lost six horse morale on that one assault well there's actually little, two assaults but uh two assaults no that one assault well <laughs> it lost, took two assaults to do it i lost at least maybe one or two on the one before that oh yeah i forgot about that yeah so it was uh, uh you lost one because i all i did was uh, wound your junior leader right so i lost seven force morale on those two assaults and i had no way to get out of there if i had a chain of command dice i got to pull back or something but or at least avoided the the senior leader routes roll yeah something but i didn't have one um and that was it there's just no way and then i just rolled for that uh, if you get down to two it says you can remove a jump off point but we decided it was too cheesy to remove the one that, that, <laughs> that he was gonna in the game yeah <laughs> it's supposed to be something bad not you know, you're not supposed to benefit from that. Hey, look, <laughs> I don't lose after all. <laughs> yeah, I would have still been at one, but either way. Uh, so the Marines just rolled up the, uh, not the beach, but they came. So they must have got on the beach over there somewhere and just rolled this way. 
and just drop my force morale. As is so often the case in this game, force morale is what it all comes down to. And Andre was still at eight, so there's no 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 uh, problem with him getting keeping it three or higher. So yeah, that's it. The uh, Japanese are going to pull back and regroup somewhere else, hoping Actually, in better positions. As a campaign, if this was a campaign style game, oh, I'd be screwed. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we both lost about the same amount. You, yeah, you but took, the force uh, morale difference is like eight dudes. Oh, <laughs> most of my dudes have come back. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's why it's Getting so down hard. to zero force morale in a campaign game is not a good thing. Yeah, I'm like, you got most of your dudes intact, but I get everything back pretty much. Yeah, you'd only lose a few guys. So, yeah, it was a good game. So, what was your plan, Andre? Um, I think thought that this was going to give a lot more uh, cover yeah and I was uh, really gonna just uh, kind of come up into here and cruise down the beach <laughs> take a Sunday stroll pretty All much right. I uh, and do what fire 50s the whole way uh, no most I, I was fine with just uh, cruising down here and that was gonna make you keep a bunch of dudes back here yeah then um, you know, moving my other two squads up here, and you'd have your forces uh, split. Did you think I was not going to have any AT or anything? Um, well, I honestly really thought you'd go with the satchel charges, and um, I didn't realize the gun was going to be so good against uh, my yeah. armor. Um, it is a good gun. Yeah. it. Uh, if I'd have uh, remembered... Uh, just how good it was. I probably would have just beelined like I did here, and uh, you know pushed up through the cover because those guns are just so badass. Oh, yeah. 50 cals. And once you had your you know showed you know your uh, AT gun, you know imagine that thing rolling in against yeah. these guys. I would have been more scared of that than that 75 mm Oh hell yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I was really bummed when uh, when that blew that's up. That's twelve HMGs and six MMG shots. But I was thinking, okay, um, you've just got, you wound up kind of all strung out up here, yeah. and it's like that's perfect because the worst thing for me is hitting all of you at once. If I could focus in and hit just one squad at a time and just roll you up, and I thought, perfect, I'll just lead with something that's invulnerable right but yeah it didn't get the rolls didn't actually happen but um right. yeah once once you got strung out here i think it was pretty much over for you um you you handled that first wave well but it that's too many marines yeah my plan was well i wanted to get two squads online in those wood in the jungle but that would have been a lot more difficult that was, to deal with because i knew if well i knew you were going to only to be able to deploy and fire so many guys. Yeah. And it, that's how it started. Yep. But then, then you, I didn't expect you to deploy a squad just right in the open here. That kind of persuaded me to get the hell out of there. Well, I was ready to sit there and just fire back and forth oh. at you at an advantage, but. Yeah. No. It didn't and happen. if you had gotten two online up here, there's no way I would have popped out in the open over there because yeah. then again we're looking at a fairly fair firefight and except half my guys are in the open. Yeah, it's just there wasn't enough room. I just couldn't get two squads in there. Um, I mean, I could have if I did some move, moving, and I should have done that, but uh, I didn't, I don't know. I, that was not a good, I didn't do very well in, with that squad there. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to just pull back and just, I mean, I could have pulled back and just formed a huge line in there, but I don't know. That's how we used to play. I don't want to play like, I want to, I don't know. I screwed up. <laughs> well, we okay honestly we, we both did screw up, and it I think it did make it an inch more interesting yeah no, uh, game out terrific. of it. Uh, you know, it with the firepower I had here, um, you know, bringing the armor up once your AT gun was exposed. If I could have gotten it out of line of gotten out of line of sight, you know, that would be the right thing to do is just march up and make you pull back until we got. And you know, then it would but, have been probably a, just a big firefight. You would have been in those jungle, this jungle, and I would have been in that well, jungle, and we would have just been honestly, shooting it, at each other. It, yeah, or it might have you 
if you could have gotten out of line of sight far enough, it would have just wound up being the same kind of scenario where I'm just, just lined up wave after wave. Just back there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it would have just happened later in the game. Yeah, I just never expected to lose that much force morale at once. Well, I was kind of prepared to lose that squad in some force morale, but not all of it. <laughs> One shot. And I did remember not to bring in the senior leader in the first wave. That was a good call. I did remember that that's probably a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, Marines took the beach. Uh, Japanese dropped to zero force morale, essentially. I mean, I conceded, but it would have been zero force morale once he ended the turn. So, yeah, solid victory for the Marines. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and call it for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this game for the night. <laughs> and thanks to Andre for coming over again. And uh, thanks to our patrons for uh, supporting the channel. And check out our Facebook group and our Patreon as well. And if you want to be... Uh, we see what we're doing here uh, tabletop cp behind the scenes we got campaigns we got several campaigns uh, for patrons several extra games uh, we do game preview videos we do after uh, action reports so a lot of stuff if you're into this type of stuff it might be something you're interested in uh, so yeah check that out and then uh, facebook group as well and with that we'll go ahead and uh, we'll call it and say good night thanks for watching and we'll see you next time